There was one day, we were playing through full house, and he'd brought along a school bag, he'd be some porn on it, and from the porn bag, he produced a porn DVD, and it was genuinely entitled Anal Pandemonium 5. <laughs> That's what he called it. That was the title. Every that title will stick with you your whole life. Anal Pandemonium <laughs> 5. That's, you look at it, thinking, fucking, this is, this is monumental. The first time I've ever seen the DVD cover of Anal Pandemonium 5. <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't know if this is, I'm, I'm just at the Red Shoe Diaries, Euro Tra Am I getting fast tracked here? <laughs> but it was unanimous. Only one option for the afternoon's entertainment. Stuck it on the DVD player. None of us had seen the first four, but we're getting the gist. <laughs> Everybody transfixed on it. Porno, five, ten minutes in. The wee weirdo guy, he got up and he left the sitting area and went upstairs to the bathroom. And upon his return, it was noted it was gone too long to be taking a piss. <laughs> but not long enough to be doing a shite. Accusations begin to fly. Anal Pandemonium 5 gets paused. Fucking pause that if we speak to this pervert here. <laughs> One of their big unmistakable. We are watching porn pauses. No, there's just dildos lying on the. Nobody's going to walk in and go, What's that you're watching? Just fucking <laughs> filth. That was the backdrop for this interrogation. And he went on the defensive. He said, We're, we're going, Where have you been then, you fucking dirty bastard? And he's going, Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, I was, uh, I was just upstairs. He said, I was taking a shite. And we were looking at the time. <laughs> Trying to do the maths, thinking a shite. And that time, did you, did you forget to wipe your arse? <laughs> and he said, no, it was a ghosty. Immediately, we're on the back foot. We never even considered that an option. <laughs> a ghost. <laughs> the perfect shite. Not one sheet of toilet roll required. <laughs> not a flush is needed. The environment does not get damaged in the slightest. <laughs> Just casually. Strolls right out. Don't mind me, mate. Nothing to say. Hits the water. Cheerio. <laughs> I'm sure I, I'm sure I took a shite there. <laughs> it felt like a shite. <laughs> it smells like a shite. <laughs> I needed a shite and I no longer need a shite. <laughs> but I cannot seem to locate a shite. It's like Kaiser Sose, just fucking gone. <laughs> that was it. We even apologised to the guy. Sorry, mate, we thought. No, I won't even mention what we thought. Anyway, go help you back to your seat there. Unpause the feature. <laughs> shite. Big fan, I just realised I just said shite about ten times. A shite's a great word, isn't it? Underused. It's only Scotland or Ireland. We still keep that strong. Shite. I don't like shit. Shit's become a utility word. Isn't it? Shite. Shite means shite. Shit means anything these days. Do you want to smoke some of that shit? <laughs> really digging your shit. I need to go home and pack my shit. <laughs> you can never put shite in their sentences. I like to smoke some of that shite. <laughs> You're really digging my shite. <laughs> Looking home early to pack, pack your shite. <laughs> or poo. That's annoying. Adults that still say poo. Uh, guys, uh, can we stop the car? Uh, really have to go for a poo. <laughs> I just see your ID here. You're over seven and you want to go for a poo. <laughs> a poo. 
that's that new voice that's creeping in. You know that? Hey guys, that sort of voice. I'm, I'm, I still live in Glasgow. I moved out of my family home about eight months ago. I live in the West End, and that's the way. I've got that new... <laughs> you know that new homogenised, like, hey, hey guys, uh, what's your chart? You know that new Scott? What, what's your chart? Uh, yeah, we were out last night for Callum's birthday drinks and uh, all. Yeah. Oh, wasn't Fraser's banter totally banging, wasn't it? Fraser, oh, it was Callum, Callum and Gavin are such a double act, aren't they, though? Oh. Their banter was on fire. <laughs> top chat, yeah, really top chat, top banter. To totally top bants. All I remember was Rebecca bought me a Jaeger bomb, and then uh, <laughs> me and Gavin were planking in Burger King. And, uh, <laughs> I woke up this morning, I was actually dying. Top banter, top chart. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way they fucking talk. That's the kind of freaks I live beside these days. <laughs> top banter. <laughs> I moved it. I, I've never, I got on the property ladder, bought myself a nice wee flat, and I've never viewed a property in my fucking life, but I was, I was needing a bit of advice. My dad. He volunteered himself as the property expert. He said, if you're going to view in places, son, I'm going to come with. Because what will happen is you'll walk into a nice wee flat, you'll get excited. The guy who owns it will see you're excited. Then the fucking price goes up. Whereas me, poker face. <laughs> <laughs> He's never viewed a property in his life. My dad's been in the same council house his whole fucking life. You don't, you don't go and view a council flat, you just, you don't get a survey or a home report done. You just get told, that's where you're going to live now. Get fucking in. <laughs> but he's volunteered himself as a property expert. Me and him are rocking up there. If you're this guy's gaff, me and him look fucking Colin and Justin walking up. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's going poker faces. We never even get into the guy's house. And my dad had dissolved, just going, look, that car's got a valid tax tax. I've got a few quid up here. Get a wee photograph for that, sir. <laughs> you learn some of life's harshest lessons as well when you live on your own for the first time. Some of, some of life's toughest like Lord pack spreadable is unspreadable. <laughs> you know, that? That's the most recent one. That was a tough one to take. <laughs> I'm stood there. Lunchtime, making myself a piece and crisps. <laughs> <laughs> I have been nothing short of meticulous in my preparations. I've decided how many crisps I'm going to put on the sandwich and how many crisps I'm going to keep in the packet as a wee side dish. <laughs> I was even whistling, having a nice wee day. Got my butter knife. Commenced to spread within seconds, it turned sinister. My wrist nearly fucking snapped. <laughs> Just check that says spreadable, all right? Must be. Must be me then. I better change my technique. I'll go for rotation, sir. So. <laughs> Bits of your work top start to appear through the bread. I started to abort the mission, lunchtime, just spent in the garden, eating half a packet of crisps, feeding the bulbs. There you go, lad. <laughs> Even the pigeons are going, what the fuck happened to that, mate? <laughs> Come on, look at us, lad. <laughs> Try to feed us this shit. <laughs> you put that in a fucking shredder, mate. <laughs> How many more innocent bits of bread must be ripped apart before somebody challenges these bastards? <laughs> That should be the new advert, Lord Pack Spreadable. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs>